How does it feel to be in Big Brother's house? Amazing. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel good. I feel, I feel good. I feel amazing. Yeah. And what has the experience been like for you? Um, still adapting. Um, but it's more than like the house is beautiful. Like everyone's amazing. We're all getting along still. So yeah, we're we're all we're all happy I think for now. And what are your thoughts about your fellow housemates? Honestly, I feel like we're all I feel like we're really mature. This is my I might be wrong, but I think we're all really mature and like we like each other, so it's working, like we have quite similar experiences there's a lot of you know talented and like experienced individuals in the house as well so but mostly I think we're really mature that we're bonding and we're respecting each other I mean it's only been day two day one day two yeah day two but I think we're respecting each other as we should and everyone has a story to tell so yeah we um I'm loving it and who do you see yourself bonding with I'm still doing that. Um, um, I'm still doing that, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm talking to everyone and I like everyone and I know I can't like everyone, but it's still day two, so I can't really take it for like certain like, oh, I know you yet to say I'm bonding with you, but the guys are really nice in the sense like, oh, I feel like home, like not home, but like they're nice, they're nice guys. So obviously it's comfortable for me and that, that was something I wasn't quite sure of, but I'm comfortable with them. Um, and the girls are equally like super nice. So I can't really say for now who I'm like proper bonding with, but, and I can't say everyone either. So yeah, we'll see. Maria. Yes, Big Brother. Before you entered Big Brother's house, you were in isolation for a few weeks. That's correct. Tell Big Brother about that experience. <laughs> no, um, oh my God, um, it was a lot. It was a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Naturally, I'm not even an, like a social media person, like constantly being on my phone. So it wasn't social media at all. It was just not being able to walk around, you know, either from a kitchen to a living room to my bedroom. It was just like, it was hard. I'm not going to lie, it was hard. Um, did I get to know myself? No, because <laughs> I think I was just like trying to get out. Oh my God, I can't wait to get out. And I did a lot of thinking though, but like I wouldn't say I got to, it made me get to know myself more. It didn't. It was just, it was, it was torturing. I think that's the word I'm going to use. I felt tortured, but it was a great experience. I'm not going to lie. Not having to know what time it was, not having to know you know, what's happening next? Am I going home? And you guys were doing a series of COVID, so I kept being scared. But in all, like, honestly, it's an experience. And will I ever do that, ex that isolation experience again? Probably not, but I'm glad I went through it because I think it made me appreciate what what's going on right now. Like, I'm amazed to see human beings. Like, I love everyone, I think, for now. Um, and hopefully it just carries on. But yeah, it makes me appreciate the opportunity I have now, you know, I'm able to walk out to the garden, I'm able to like talk to people, cook, eat. Yeah, I appreciate this because of that. Yeah. And would you like to discuss anything else with Big Brother? Hmm. Welcome to your first diary session. Thank you, Big Brother. How does it feel to be in the Big Brother house? Big <sighs> Brother, it feels... I feel great. It feels amazing. I'm finally here. <laughs> you know, when I woke up this morning, I was like... Uh, I opened my eyes and the light was so bright. I'm like, am I really here? And I looked around and I closed my eyes and I'm like, I'm actually here, yeah. I still feel so good, Big Brother. Thank you. And what has the experience been like for you? Uh, the experience so far has been good. 
um, different in a way because outside the house my circle is really small even though I'm an entertainer I do I've not really had like that luxury to be in four walls with so many people and I have to interact with them and you know they're interacting with you back and everyone's trying to get to know each other it's it's really really cool I like it so far I'm loving it and what are your thoughts on your fellow housemates uh, big brother uh, right now I don't have the like full conclusion yet but so far so good I think everyone is chilled you know everyone is it's cool. Um, the guys are very cool and friendly. Same with the girls. Everyone is talking. We're getting to know each other. And yeah, I think everyone is good. I think with time, we'll start going deeper and so they go sharp, big brother. With time. And who do you see yourself bonding with? Uh. Right now, it might change, but right now, I see myself. Uh, I'm still trying to like, I'm yet to decide, but I really, really, um, I like um, the vibe I'm getting from Yerins. It's really, really cool, and I like the fact that he can, he knows a lot of things, like a lot. And I like, um, yeah, Yerins or Maria, and I, I like Princess too, like, yeah, I love Princess, like, yeah, so, you know, everybody's cool, everybody's cool, but for now, I really, I'm feeling Yerins' vibe, and um, Emmanuel too is also. As I said earlier, I'm trying to get to know everybody and I'm still yet to conclude because I'm still in that process. But for now, Earrings is my guy and we're cool. We still get to talk and know each other. And all the girls are fun. So, and I, I, I love to get to here. Yeah. Liko Rose. Yes, Big Brother. Before you entered Big Brother's house, you were in isolation for a few weeks. Yes, Big Brother. Talk to Big Brother about that experience. <sighs> Big Brother, the isolation experience was um, <laughs> was very, very intriguing for me, and it was, I would say, fun in a way for me because I was alone, and I, and I think it was longer than I expected it to be. But I think I had time to like start um, doing some backtracking on my own and thinking and getting involved and I've always wanted to write so I started writing books and the isolation to take my mind off uh, out, counting the days and all and huh, sometimes it was so so boring that I just needed someone to talk and I couldn't wait like for it to be over so I'll actually be here to see people to talk to and just with by the end of the day, I appreciate the isolation process because I'm not the type to be away from my phone. Like I'm always, my friends try to tell me I'm addicted to my phone. So it was a good, it's like a therapy, it's like a therapy for me, actually. Yes. And would you like to discuss anything else with Big Brother? Um, um, no, nothing for now, Big Brother.